Aries, what's going on, guys? So, I'm going to just pull some cards and get a message out for you guys, okay? I definitely do hope the messages resonate, and I definitely do hope the messages are useful, all right? Um, just like I told Taurus and Scorpio, my allergies are acting up um, more than usual today, so I just apologize in advance, okay? But, yeah, I'm going to shuffle the deck a bit two more times, and then we're just going to jump right into it, okay? We're going to do one more time. So for Aries, I get messages for Aries. So we got the lover's card coming up first. I get messages for Aries. Damn, we got the seven of swords. Messages for Aries. You got the nine of wands. Messages for Aries. And you also have the two of pentacles. Messages for Aries. You have the Eight of Swords. Somebody doesn't trust someone. Messages for Aries. Ooh. You have the King of Pentacles. You also have the Ace of Cups. Messages for Aries. And then you also have the Page of Cups. The King of Pentacles did want to come out in reverse. I'm not going to take it, but with that being a uh, reverse as well, just try to, um, I don't know, watch out for your health. Um, I'm no doctor, of course, but <laughs> um, I don't know. It's just something regarding like your health. You or somebody else, just stay mindful. Like, well, you know, what you're eating, exercise, stuff like that, etc. But like I said, I'm no doctor and I, I don't got no room to preach. So moving on. Uh, <laughs> um, you got Gemini energy out here, Capricorn towards Virgo energy. What's the seven of swords? Messages for Aries. You have the Empress. What's the two of Pentacles? Messages for Aries. You have the Hangman with the six of swords. Um, I don't know why I got like, is Mr. the still your girl? Um, <laughs> I feel like somebody, Aries, whether it's you or another person, is competing for, not even necessarily competing for someone, but someone's, like, nervous. Another person's, like, going to take someone away from them or take, like, their partner away. What's the Ace of Cups? Yeah, with the Ace of Pentacles. What's the Nine of Wands? We got the Six of Pentacles with the Knight of Pentacles. Or be also aware, yeah, with the death. Be um aware, Aries dead. I don't know. Somebody could be moving slowly to like coming towards you or like to offer you something or like to court you at all. Um, because they're given to like a baby's mother or their actual mom. Like somebody is financially dependent on another person, which is causing them to like give to you or move slowly towards you. Could be a Pisces, Taurus, Libra, heavy Taurus. Messages for Aries, target one for the lovers. Yeah, you got the five of cups. It's like, yeah, somebody could be wondering what the devil could even be a Capricorn, why somebody is like moving slowly towards them, why they aren't like getting something out of someone or like, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, with the night of one, somebody's wondering why somebody's not taking action. It's because they are, what's the Empress? Seven of Swords with the Empress. Messages for Aries. Yeah, with the strength. Somebody is holding on to another person. Whether this is like your person holding on to that, their baby's mother or vice versa. Even if this is like, I am feeling like this is a man though. I'm not really feeling like this is a a woman taking care of a man. I'm not, I was going to say that, but I'm not even really getting that. So I'm not, um, but I do. I feel like this is a, a masculine, a man taking care of a feminine, which I feel like most, is more so a baby's mom. Yeah, and I even feel like Aries, I don't know what this is, because I was even going to say, like, maybe you want to you get out of this situation with the Nine of Cups, but I'm not even feeling it. I feel like, yeah, if you're wondering why somebody is, like, taking, or even if you're cross-watching, like, I'm not sure, like, somebody is wondering why another person is, and, you know, take it if it resonates, um, but if someone's, like, wondering why somebody's, like, moving slowly, or they're, because somebody can even be feeling like they're lying about where they're at. Like, somebody could even, like, text somebody, like, in the day and somebody doesn't respond to, like, hours later or at, like, night. Or somebody texts somebody at night. It's, like, they take forever to get back to them, which would be, like, in the morning. I don't know what that's, like, 
Yeah, with the sun. You or somebody else could even have a sign. Messages for um, Aries. Yeah, with the ten of wands. What's the eight of swords? Yeah, you got the eight of cups. It could be significant, 88. And it seems like it's a repetitive cycle with this person. Somebody's getting fed up with the hermit. Somebody's gonna go somebody, it could be a Virgo. Like somebody feels like something's getting like really old with the Queen of Cups and the Four of Pentacles here. Somebody's gonna like shut down emotionally, I feel like. Yeah, with the Six of Cups. And I feel like whoever like shuts down, the other person's gonna take it really, really hard. This person's like, they feel, this person runs off love. Like Aries, you or somebody else like really runs off of love with the Nine of Pentacles. And somebody's like really gonna shut down and just start being like really grounded. And, like they're more, like, I don't know. Like somebody's not almost like, cause somebody could have used somebody as like a crybaby, but in like a, not in a crybaby, but like somebody just viewed somebody as very like passionate, especially like emotionally. Somebody wore like their heart on their sleeve. They had no problem with telling somebody like how they felt, what they liked, what they didn't like. But I feel like somebody's going to be very shocked because they're dragging their feet when it comes to giving someone like an offer or just more. And whoever's on the receiving end, this person's getting fed up. This person's going to shut down. Could be a cancer, a cancer Pisces Scorpio. Yeah, with the three of wands. It's almost like somebody's like manifested new areas, whether this is you or somebody else. Somebody's manifesting someone new to come into their life. So they can kind of get over this old person with the page of swords. Somebody's just waiting, <laughs> watching. Somebody could even be wondering like, if that's why you don't talk to them. <laughs> this is just a mind game, I feel like, with the three of swords. Like two people are just like, not and it just seems like they're not communicating and that's that's where the the, the problem is is happening because somebody is not telling us like another person what it is with the temperance could be a sagittarius messages for aries please literally have you sagittarius with the queen of wands coming right after that but aries this is your energy as well somebody just wants peace somebody just wants to make peace in the situation as well What's this temperance with the Queen of Wands? Messages for Aries. Yeah, you got the magician. It could even be a Sagittarius that's like manifesting you. Yeah, with the Three of Swords. Mm. Or even be weird. I don't know. There could be a Sagittarius trying to manipulate you as well for like financial gain with the Seven of Pentacles. Or even again, just manifesting you as well. Messages for Aries. Yeah, with the Ace of Wands. Oh. What's the magician with the ace of wands? Somebody's like manifesting a new beginning with another person, literally with the uh, Wheel of Fortune. Somebody is not trying to let somebody go. This could even be like the baby's mother. Yeah, with the Ten of Pentacles. Like, I don't know. Like, especially if you're cross-watching for Aries, I'm not, somebody isn't gonna like let, with the high priestess, they're not gonna let each other go. Like, I don't know. Cause I feel bad for seeing it, but it's like, I, mm with the high priestess. Like even if the even if somebody walks away from like their baby's mom, they're still gonna deal with like this person's gonna come out as like a mistress. They're still gonna deal with this person on a sexual level as well. Messages for Aries please. Yeah with the nine of swords. And the tower, yeah. Like, I don't know, I feel like that was just like really hard for somebody like here. But yeah, I feel like two people aren't gonna leave each other alone. Like if somebody's like dragging their feet literally with the King of Cups, cause they're emotionally vacant. Like their their emotions is elsewhere with somebody else technically. Like I, it, with the Queen of Swords. Could definitely be an Aquarius. Aries technically your, your uh, energy is out here with the tower. Um, What's this Queen of Swords? What's the Queen of Swords? Oh. You got the King of Swords and the Two of Swords. This person's not going to leave whoever they have like kids with. They're not going to leave this person. And it's so strong, like with the Ten of Swords. They think, like somebody thinks it, but like, somebody's afraid of like somebody causing a lot of trouble even if they was to leave this person like they're they're afraid of being like on child support like i don't know what this is literally with the eight of 
Eight of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands. 88 could be significant. Like somebody, even if this person feels stuck, they don't feel stuck enough to leave. Like this, with the Four of Swords, this person's not going to go anywhere. Last your cards for Aries, please. Yeah, you got the King of Cups with the Two of Cups. Could even be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah, with the King of Wands, Aries. With the Four of Cups. This could even be like a same-sex relationship as well. Yeah, somebody's just not going to, they're not going to leave whoever they're with. What's the King of Cups and the King of Wands and the Two of Cups? Yeah, with the higher fit and the three of cups. They're not going to leave whoever this person is with the star. Could be an Aquarius, a Taurus. Yeah, with the seven of pentacles. I honestly feel like, what's the seven of oh, yeah, with the three of pentacles? It would just continuously be a third party with the judgment. This person is not going to leave. They're not. Um, Aries, I'm going to end it there. I tried to see what else was going to come out. But yeah, this person, you or their baby's mother, or whatever the case may be, will be a third party. Like, this person is crazy. Um, this person could even be, like, bisexual. I'm just be completely honest with you. Um, but yeah, Aries, that was y'all's reading. Um, I definitely do hope it resonates. And I definitely do hope the messages are useful for you guys. And until next time, bye.